Hello students, welcome to SS Tutorial. Today in this video, we will discuss about the forces behind the development of all types of landforms and relief features of the earth surface that are endogenic and exogenic forces. So let's begin. Endogenic and exogenic both forces are responsible for the development of all types of landforms and relief features in the earth surface such as mountain, plateau, plain, valley, canyon, sand dune, waterfall and so on. Let's know about endogenic forces. The word endogenic derived from two words. One is endo meaning inside and other is genic meaning origin. That means endogenic forces describe the forces which are originates in the inside of the earth or in the interior of the earth. As an example, we can say about earthquake and volcanic forces. Both are endogenic forces as they originates into the earth's interior. These endogenic forces are also known as constructive forces as they develop landforms and relief features on the earth's surface. Temperature and pressure differences among various layers of the earth's interior raises density differences which causes convectional currents. These convectional currents is the main reason behind the origin of endogenic forces. Rotation of the earth, tidal friction, radioactivity also may generate endogenic forces. Endogenic forces can be classified into two types. They are sudden forces and slow forces. Sudden forces are those forces which can last for a short period and results a huge change on the earth's surface. As an example, we can say about earthquakes and volcanic forces which last for a short period but they can change earth's surface suddenly. And slow forces are those forces which last for a long period and they take several years to change the earth's surface. As an example, we can say about orogenic forces, which are responsible for the mountain building, like Himalayan mountain, which is originated due to the orogenic forces. The building process of Himalaya mountain has been started million of years ago, and their formation process is still going on. That means, orogenic force is still active. This orogenic force is an example of slow forces. Let's know about exogenic forces. The word exogenic derived from two words. One is exo meaning outside and other is genic meaning origin. So exogenic forces describes the forces which originates outside of the earth surface. Or we can say the forces which derives their strength from the exterior of the earth surface are known as exogenic forces. Like weathering, erosion, deposition and so on. Exogenic forces are often called as destructive forces as they destroy existing landforms by weathering and erosional forces. Exogenic forces are mostly influenced by the primary energy of the sun and also the gradient created by the endogenic forces of the earth. It may take over 100 or million of years to see the changes in the earth surface produced by exogenic forces. As an example, we can say about river valley, which takes 100 of years for its development. A river valley is developed by the erosional force of river. That's all for today. Hope you like this video. For more such videos, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get latest notification. Thanks for watching.